Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. In today's lesson, we're going to be using Excel to learn how to select random names from a list. Uh, as in all my videos here, I have a full write-up on my website, analyticsforall.org. I will have the link to this down in the video description below. So you can see I have an Excel worksheet here with a list of names in rows 1 through 10. The first thing, we're, we're going to be using two different formulas here to get through this. The first one we're going to learn is called index. Now, with every formula used in Excel, the first thing you have to do is hit an equal sign to let Excel know that's what you're doing. Index takes in two arguments. The first argument is the array that you want to grab or the range. So I'm just going to go and cover all the ranges. So now you see it says A1 to A10. Then the next argument comma is the number you want in that array. So if I were to hit six and close this out, I would get the sixth name in there. So am there you go. If I were to go back and change it to so say three, then now we'll get Matt. Okay. Doesn't only work vertically, of course. We could go in here, put some names in here. And we could change our index now. Let's just make a new one, just to avoid confusion. We'll just say index. Cross, comma, and I'll say two, and we'll get Christine. So vertical, horizontal, doesn't matter. Uh, now the next thing we want to add to make it get random function is we're going to use another feature known as rand between. Rand between is a random number selector, but one of the features of it is you give it the parameters to go between. So if I say one to ten, it picked ten that time. If I hit it again, it gives me eight. So every time you hit it, it'll give you that. So we're going to add this ran between to our initial index. So instead of putting three here in the formula bar, we're just going to put ran between one comma ten. All right. So it says Keith. Now if we run it again, say Jared. Now what function would I possibly have for any of this? Is when I want to make up some fake data or put something together or grab a list of random employees and assign them in certain areas. This is a great way to do it. Uh, you can, if you want to drag down to make sure, one thing you want to keep in mind, as you come down, watch the change here, now my index. Now it says two and 11. We don't want that because eventually you're going to run out of, there's no space for names to pick from. So for, if you're going to extend it down here with a drag, make sure you lock in your range. You can just add those dollar signs, and now I can come down as long as I want. And as you can see, I can make a list of random names, hundreds of long, without having to type in these names repeatedly over and over again. Okay. Again, if you want to go back and check it out, I have the description for my write-up in the bottom of the video. If you like this video, hit subscribe or leave a comment. Thank you very much. I hope to talk to you again.